Hello everybody, in this new video about Serpon Online, we are going to talk about the Quillings modern web part in modern Serpon Online sites. Basically, here we have a modern Serpon Online site where uh, we have a news web part, Quillings web part, and some other stuff. But in this particular video, I'm going to talk about this guy, the Quillings web part. So, what I have to do is just edit the homepage of this modern uh, Serpon Online site, and then uh, what I can do is just to edit this web part because I'm going to modify the web part settings. So first thing uh, you, uh, you are going to notice here is that we have different layout options so we can uh, show this web part in different uh, formats. So I can use the compact format. Yeah, that is basically the same but uh, with some background for the icons of my web part. I can again go back to the button. I can use the film strip a little bit different. I can go to list, uh, also very nice. Tiles, I don't particular, I don't particularly li like this one. Oh, we can go to grid. Okay, let's go back to uh, button. Um, as you can see here, depending on the layout you choose, you have different configuration options such as show descriptions or not. In this case, uh, I can choose yes, and uh, so I can see the description of this link uh, just, um, just below the link itself and and can also uh, modify the configuration of the icon such as okay i want the icon on top or i want i want the icon again on left and and i can change the alignment okay so imagine we are done in regards of the layout the, the next thing we can do is just to modify each each link itself and actually it's quite powerful because i can uh, press the edit uh, action here um, uh, I can choose different uh, uh, I can choose I can choose between different options uh, to to put an icon here so I can say I can set auto select that is going to display uh, this icon I can say cast custom image or I can say icon that is going to revert back to my uh, the, to the icon I, ha I have selected before but mm, the most uh, Mm, powerful thing here is that you can uh, click on change and then you are going to have a bunch of icons you can select for your quick links web part so as you can see here you have many many icons you can use for free for the web part configurations for so for instance let's imagine we are going to use uh, for this link uh, for instance this one people even we are not talking about people uh, we can select the icon and then click select and here we go we have our quick links web part uh, configured and it's beautiful and it's very useful and it's very nice and yeah this web part is not finished yet uh, i think it's going to con uh, it's going to evolve in the future so we are going to have more uh, configuration options in the web part so yeah it's going to be very very useful and very very powerful to um, apply customizations to your modern SharePoint online without coding. So uh, yeah, and that's all for now. I hope uh, you have found this video interesting and talk to you soon. Uh, bye bye.